Alright, good evening, folks. Uh, it's your boy, the G Flash, and we got the Kid Banner tonight. And I'm joined by GDK, Ken Dog, and Tatiana Master One, whose mic broke, apparently. Bonjour, hello, hola, everything. Hope everybody's doing okay. Hope y'all had a good Easter. Oh, yeah. Okay, so, as we know, tonight is the Kid Banner, and from the silhouette, we can all sure know what it is gonna be. Uh, so, uh, let's not waste any more time, and let's jump into the trailer. So, here we go. I swear, if it's a, uh, Kid Robin in here, I'm gonna scream. Envisioning their futures. Special heroes. Special heroes to battle. Uh oh. <laughs> it, you're it, you right. Adventure. It is a kid robin. But I hope I can help people. Uh, uh, All right. Uh, 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 Wait, does he have a gambit for like tomes or something? Fell War Tome. Oh, he magic has a gambit? he has a gambit for a uh, magic unit. Magic? Wow. Oh, oh, that, oh dear, Lord, help. Ha! Uh, and he's got Rally Spectrum. Yeah. Yep. What the heck is that animation? Okay. Oh, I knew it. I want to create a country. No, a world of peace. <laughs> yep, it's Kid Emeryn. <laughs> oh, to oh, my heart. My heart. <laughs> Why? Why I yes. I literally just had a, I literally went through a bunch of crises the last month. Now you're doing this to me. Because. All right. Uh, yes. Magic Shield, yeah. oh boy. Uh oh. Uh oh. We can Why do they have to make the kids specials? Why? Why, I ask? Why? I I'm, I'm gonna go cry in a corner now. Uh, oh, yeah, there's the Lissa. So I'm pretty yeah, sure we know what the what the uh, what the, really uh the last unit is gonna be. No, we we probably may know what. Uh, <laughs> oh, she's the D mode with a perp weapon. Okay, that's actually pretty good. Oh well, ain't she just lucky? You need a time out. <laughs> yeah, same goes oh, for you. Okay. <laughs> So it's vessels of fate. We work well together. Incredibly so. Oh, it's Kid Crom and we'll Female Robin. Okay. Oh wow. Even Mad Master can actually do a kid's voice. Dang. Wait, what are they just inflicted on people? Oh my god, look at this paragraph. Oh. Oh, 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 oh lord. We got Link 4 now. Oh. Alright, there we go. Oh, ab about time. Huh. Witness my strategy. And apparently they're the next person to uh, to, in, to have flair. Huh. Yep. How about that? Stronger by the day. Oh. Okay, I think I know who the who is the freer unit. I won't say uh, it. Well, it's, probably... uh, I know who it is gonna be. Mister picks up every pebble. Oh, uh, I'm guessing that is him, but let's let's wait. We'll settle this right now. Leave it to us. You've got this. It's time. All right. Again. Um, bravo on Matt's, uh, on, on Mr. Matt's performance as Krom yet again. Yeah. Like, honestly, I never oh, thought yep, that he could Mr. actually go Pebble that way. It's a Frederick. Yep. 
I don't want to figure. Okay. I'm probably get. Also, rip. All right. Do you, do you get rip? Rip you? Um. Uh. Oh, oh my! Uh, my wallet is not safe. Can I do? Can I review this? Uh. Yep, you could. Oh. Oh, you oh. you got your mic back. Let's go. Uh, mm. was one, two. Yeah, think was one, two. Yeah, okay. he's got his mic back. Okay, so let's go over the unit. So first off, we got the Kid Male Robin, and he's a red infantry tome unit this time. And, um, we, I think we know his stats. Uh, so he's got 40 HP. I'm guessing that's a minus six debuff right there. So that's uh, 64 attack and 52 uh, speed, I'm guessing. And 36 defense and 16 res. So he dumps all his res. So he's another bulky mage. And uh, this is what he's got. He's got Fell War Tone. Grand speed plus three. If unit initiates combat or is within two spaces of an ally, deals seven damage to fall as oh, so he's got seven pre-combat damage, just like uh occultist strike. Um, and then uh well our okay, we all know that grants all sets up X to unit X equals 16 minus foe's max special cooldown count times two minus minimum eight. Okay, wow. If foe does not have a special skill, X equals A. Okay, so he checks the the foe's special cooldown count, and if they don't have one, then it's just A to all the stats. Uh, reduce damage on foe's first by 30%. Okay. And then it also, I think, means the brave hits as well. And then he has null guard. And also, if the unit's max special cooldown count value is greater than or equal to 3, and unit's special can uh, trigger uh, attack and trigger unit special when special triggers uh, completely nullify the damage reduction skill. Oh, damn. Okay, so he completely pierces the damage reduction. So, uh, this effect we just saw it last time on, um, uh, uh, what's it? What's his face that has it? Oh, um, uh, was it Merrick or? Somebody had this effect last time. Um, I'm trying to remember who it is. Uh, okay, it's somebody that has it, but yeah. Um, so as long as you have like um, special cooldown you know, that's higher than three, then you uh, completely pierces the damage reductions. Okay, and then if unit initiates combat, applies divine Bay flame on five spaces in a line center on foe's space uh, for one Terraptica. Oh, damn. So he also inflicts the Divine Vein Flame tiles. Okay, that's pretty sick. So then uh, he's got Ignis, Flash Sparrow, and then Magic Gambit 4. Okay. So, I can see where this is going. So if you yeah. need an combat or if the impose a range unit, inflict speed and rest minus 4. And then also. Uh, Okay, and then it's basically just um, the Gambit skill, except it's not 50%, it's 40% this time around. So basically, the higher your special cooldown is, then the more damage you're talking, true damage you're gonna get. Just like how the, the melee version of Gambit works, except this time is for the, uh, the magic units. So that's pretty cool. And then finally, he's got a tip to scales, which we saw in Brave Robin, and I don't think I need to go over that because I mean, <laughs> and we all know how that is with Rally Spectrum. At least this time around, they don't need to explain to us what Rally Spectrum is. So, yeah, they got the glossary effect turned off now. So, that's pretty good. Oh, I remember who had that effect. I was mentioning the toll. Like, uh, uh, um, Emblem Ike. Yeah, because remember, Emblem um. Ike is... Either his, yeah, his great aether doesn't it do the same thing? Like the higher his special cooldown count is, oh. then basically he uh, triggers special and, and pierces damage reduction. Yeah, that's basically what, what the kid male Robin does as well. Okay, so that is pretty good. 
So he grants allies Rally Spectrum and move to the they can move next to them. That eliminates fills with high damage and straw magic. Yep. So pretty uh pretty nuts of a unit right here. Um uh, and then next up we got right. is Kid Emerin. Um hmm. Kid Emerin. Mind if I that one coming? Huh? I didn't see that one coming. I don't know. Yeah. Well, well, to be fair, it kind of does make a little bit of sense concerning the fact that most of the time it's usually siblings that gets in half the time. Mm -hmm. Or you're gonna be, a, or you're gonna be uh, some, some very weird unit like just, Ileana. Um, do you uh, do you mind if I take uh, take over for her? Uh, yeah. But real when, quick, let me just go over the stats. So the, she's got 40 HP, that, oh. 61 attack, 25 speed, 23 defense, and uh, boy, I need to do math again. Uh, 47 res. Okay. So, uh, yeah, go right ahead, GDK. Uh, take over Kid Emeron. Oh, great exalt to the Emeron. Uh, it's honestly been uh, been forever since she first arrived in Faye, honestly. I think the, in the second or third years when she came. And they're just now finally giving her an alt, which honestly, better late than never. So, her staff is called Exile's War Staff. Which, kind of funny concerning the fact that she's basically a pacifist. So, its might is 14, range is 2, mainly like any other special prep. Folk cannot counter attack, got the dazzling effect, has a special cooldown trigger in her staff, which is very nice. Now here comes the most ridiculous thing I've seen. If unit's HP is some less than 60%, or if unit has to enter combat or use an assist skill during the current turn, allies can move to a space within two spaces of unit. Why would you give this to a kid? <laughs> Grants plus four to all stats to allies within three spaces of unit during the combat and restores seven HP to those allies after the combat. Dear Lord, we got another peony here. If a unit is within three spaces of an ally, grants pl attack and res plus six to unit. Unit makes a guaranteed follow-up attack and deals damage equal to 20% of unit's res during the combat. Oh boy. So we got the effect of finish, except without the healing uh, part. And she basically gets a guaranteed follow-up. Oh joy. And it explains why she has high res. Now then. G, I want to ask you, how long has it been since we've had a healer assist skill brandly new added to the game? Uh, uh, I think, wasn't the last one Hortensia? Oh wait, no, you yeah. mean assist skill, okay. Yes, it's a, that's assist. a long time now, yeah, that's a long time. I think... I think the last assist skill that we've had for uh, preferred for healers was Return Plus, if I'm not mistaken. Mm, yep. So let's have a look at the Magic Shield. Restores HP to equal 50% of unit's attack, um, maximum 8 to HP. To target, uh, to target ally and grant the following effect to target ally for one turn. Plus six to attack res and neutralizes penalty on unit during combat. If used on turn two onward, also grants another action to the unit and inflicts restriction movement to one space on unit and pair up cohort through the next action. Gee, if I'm looking at this right, is this a freaking Golvig uh, get, uh, thing going on here? No, I guess so. Oh, this is nasty. Ugh, dear lord. So basically, effects that trigger on turn two will not trigger again for two turns after triggering. Using this effect has no effect on special cooldown charge, and yeah, mainly like anything else. But good lord, I could think of so many he uh, healers that could actually benefit from this, but I still don't like that restriction movement. So then, afterwards, she comes with Light Restraint, which is 
the last person who had that was uh, Ascended Lithia, so that oh. basically beneficials, but eh, it's also, she's also a special hero apart from Ascended, so, eh, you know. And then she comes with Poetic Justice. Um, how many how many healers do we got now that came with Poetic Justice, people? Two or three. At best. And then she also comes with Attack Res 04. So, looks like Arvel and one other person is going to be up the slaughter, uh, slaughter farm now. So... But still, I mean, the whole aspect of this, I mean, the kid is decent, but geez Louise, that, uh, that war staff and magic shield is ridiculous. Okay, well, let me read the whole thing now, because I was actually busy uh, uh, Discord chatting on my phone with my, uh, my other classmates, because they were talking about some of our projects, so I actually wasn't, like, fully paying attention. Okay, so... Let me read this whole thing, so I could get it inside. So thank you, GDK. Um, Exalt War Staff, so it's got Dazzling Staff, it's got Minus One Special Cooldown, wow. and then, if Unit's HP is greater than or equal to, oh no, less than or equal to 60, or if Unit has entered combat or used an assist skill during the current turn, allies can move to a space within two spaces of Unit. Okay, that's actually pretty nuts. And then, all stats up for to allies within two spaces of unit during their combat. And uh, heal 7 HP to those allies after their combat. That's good support. Uh, and then, unit is within three spaces of ally grants attack res of 6 to unit. Unit makes a guarantee fall with that and deals damage equal 20% of unit's res. Oh, wow. That's kind of that. That's gonna hit very hard. All right. Um, and then magic shield plus heals HP equal fifty percent of units a attack to a uh, target ally and grants the falling effects to target ally for one turn. Attack rise up six and neutralize penalties on unit. Oh wow, that's pretty good. And then if used on turn two and onward. Also grants another action to unit and uh, and then the gr wow what what is this okay so it's basically it's basically the Golvik movement apparently healers are getting it now wow that is sick <laughs> okay that's uh that's pretty nuts okay that is uh, wow I I'm impressed with that. So this is a good new uh, mad, uh, a healer assist that you can slap on your healers now and make them into budget gold vigs. And then light restraint, poetic justice, and attack results for us. So yeah, Emeran is going to be a great support unit with that movement and that mini gold vig effect. So yeah, this is pretty sick. All right, so mm -hmm. Alice can move to spaces around her when she takes action and her special slows full special. Yep, that's her in a nutshell. All right, next up we got uh, Kid Lissa, who is an axe unit this time. Yay! Finally, she got to wield another axe. So, Kendall want to do this one, so let's have Kendall take it away. All right, all right, all right. Let me get this new warrior axe. Special, so our special cooldown of you is this. Within, wait, if you is within three spaces of ally. All right. A uh, grant attack defense and res equal to 25 of uh, flows attack is like combat for maximum 14 minimum five standard stuff so, usually just like this but grant special cooldown or flick special cooldown on right, charge at minus x on you there it reduces the effect on deep wounds on you by 50 percent it reduces damage to the flow by 80 percent you're doing con fall up attack. Okay, I'm not reading that. We all know what the word fall up attack means. Um. Okay. And wait. Okay. 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 And also, if you is is higher HP than forty percent, wait, seventy percent deals damage equal X of unit defense when triggered. Of unit special, otherwise restores a HP X 
of use the fetch to you during combat. Max special cooldown is X plus 10. X times 10 plus 10. Okay. And defense was finish times pulls and bonfire. Really juicy skills for free to play players. Okay, overall. can can I just ask this? Because the way that her X feels like, isn't this like a uh, four star variant of uh, Spring Fram's uh, X? Kind of. Just with a little bit of a difference. Kind of. What do you think oh. about it, G? All right, let me let me go through this. Okay, so minus one special new war axe, minus one special cooldown. If units with three spaces of an ally grants bonus to units uh, attack defense and res equal twenty five percent of foes attack at the start of combat minus four, max fourteen min five. That's good. Neutralize effect that grants. Oh wow, she's got full on tempo. That's really good. And then it uh, reduces the deep wounds effect on you by 50%. So just like Brave Claude, and then reduce damage from post fall attack by 80%. So just like deflect melee. Okay. <laughs> um, and then if units HP is greater than equal to 70%, deals damage equals X Oof. percent of unit defense when units attack triggers unit special. Otherwise, heals HP equals X percent of unit defense to unit when units attack trigger is special. X equal units max special cooldown count by times 10. Oh wow, so she does a defense check by how much damage she deals and how much she heals, basically. Wow, okay. That's actually pretty nuts, I will say. Like trying to, uh, checking off on uh, Lissa's defense. So I'm guessing she's gonna have high defense. So that, that's gonna combo well. And then Bonfire, Death Rest, Finish 3, and then Times Pulse 3. So she's got good fodder with Death Rest, Finish 3. So if you need the Tier 4 version along with some other skill, then this is your prerequisite. So yeah, I think Kid Lissa is a pretty good demo. Uh, she's going to be a good merch project for anybody that likes Lissa. I mean, who doesn't like Lissa? So yeah, I say uh, this is a good weapon and uh, you should definitely build her up as a tank, basically. All right, and then what is, uh, okay, so can augment her special based on her HP level. With low HP, she heals, and with high HP, she hits extra hard. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's less than a nutshell, basically. All right, and lastly, we got the star of the banner, which is duo uh, kid female Robin with kid Krom. Uh, I mean, who didn't see this coming, right? It, it has to be a Robin and a Krom. So, uh, this is their stats, 40 HP, 60, no, 59 attack, um, 46 speed, 30 defense, and 22 res. And, uh, they are a really bonkersly insane unit. Okay, we got this gigantic paragraph right here, so bear with me, folks, let's go through this. So, Draconic Packs, minus one special cooldown. If a rally or movement assist skill is used, uh, grant special cooldown count minus one to unit and inflicts hush spectrum on foes within three rows or three columns centered on unit after unit's movement through their next action. If a rally or movement skill is used by unit or target after unit has already performed an action, Grants another action to unit. Oh wow, so she, uh, this is a rally bot. Um, and then, if unit initiates combat or is within two spaces of an ally, inflicts all stats uh, minus X on the foe. X equals 16 minus foe's maximum special cooldown count times two. There's a lot of checking maximum special cooldown count going on in this banner. You notice that? If foe yeah. is not equipped with a special X equals A. Okay, so just like, um, uh, was this on Emory or is it Robin that had this? Or was it Lissa that we just looked at? It, it was one of them. All right, reduce damage from foe's first set by 30%. Oh yeah, that's another effect from that. And then, um, let's see. And then finally, Null Guard. Okay, and then what's Hush Spectrum? Inflicts? 
All stats minus five on the foe during combat. If unit's attack can trigger unit special, inflicts of a special cooldown count plus one on unit before unit's first attack during combat. If unit's max special cooldown count is reduced, special trigger is accelerated, and if foe's attack can trigger full special, grand special cooldown count minus one to foe before unit's first attack. Um, what does this mean? Because I'm confused. Uh, I have no idea. Okay, so it's basically just a bunch of special cooldown bumping up and bumping down to, uh, the, to, uh, Robin or, or the fall or something like that. Uh, let me think. Uh, I'm, I'm really confused. <laughs> And this is confusing. <laughs> I need like Tacho or BM1 to explain this because I'm really confused. Is this like, uh, is this Rally Spectrum in reverse? I'm guessing. Because if it's Hutch yeah. Spectrum, it's gotta be the reverse of Rally Spectrum. Oh, you know, wait, that yeah. might actually be because of the icon. Yeah, because of the way that it's looking, it really does look like if that's the case. Um, uh, okay. All right, uh, so then she's got reposition and then fail wor uh, worm scale. Okay, what is this? Oh, and flare. I'm sorry. Uh, at start of combat, if unit's HP is greater than 25%, grants all stats of A, neutralize foe's bonuses, and unit deals damage equal 15% units attack during combat. Also, where special trigger completely new new nullify the damage reduction skill. Okay, so it's got the built-in DRP piercing, so that's good. Then after at the start of combat, if unit's HP is 25%, it heals 7 HP to unit after combat. Okay, so I feel like this is basically Fell Grima, the legendary female Robin, aka Grima. That's her dragon skill, A slot skill but a lot better basically um so because you don't have i mean you don't have iote shield because this robin is infantry but you have plus eight to all stats you still got the doll but now you also deal true damage and then pierces dr skill so that already is good all right and then she's got the link four skill and this is the first one attack speed link if a movement assist skill is used like reposition you get attack plus six to unit and then canto one to unit and target and target ally or unit and target for one turn. Okay, so you basically link yourself or something like that and then the the ally and you get canto one. So that's actually pretty good. Mm -hmm. Then inflict speed minus four and defense res minus two on the foe and unit deals plus X damage during combat, X to your highest total attack and speed bonuses among unit and ally with Canto 1 active. What? <laughs> oh, wow. So basically, to deal more damage, um, you basically need to reposition somebody, and then both, and it will check both you and your allies that have Canto 1 on them with the total attack and speed bonuses by the Link 4 skill. Okay, I gotta say, this is a pretty good comeback for the Lynx. Because the Lynx skills were kind of outdated. Well, they were a, a lot outdated now. But uh, this is a good comeback. They uh, they have some new niche now. So that's good. Well, at least, uh, at least Mordecai can actually be of use once a particular Lynx skill comes out. Mm -hmm. All right. And finally, Infantry No Follow-Up 4, which is, I mean, that's a pretty good slot C skill. Okay, so uh, their description is can disrupt status effect with that was slow specials and oh and uh, we didn't look at their dual skill yet. So their what's their where's the dual skill? Okay, here it is. Grants rally spectro and dual strike to unit and allies within seven rolls of seven call, which is the whole map. Okay, that's pretty sick. Um Okay, and then their dual skill speeds up nearby allies better than those seven times seven air. Yep. 
Okay, and so yeah, that's basically uh, Kid, Female, Robin, and Crom. So they're really, really powerful with all the shenanigans that are going on. And of course, the TT unit is uh, Mr. Pebble Man here, and Frederick, and um, that kind of looks like a perf axe to me. Yeah, it's got to be a perf axe because all the kid units have perf units. So, uh, yep, that is a perf axe. So, and he is a, Frederick is an axe cavalier. So Frederick has not got an alt for a long time now. Was so his last alt summer. the summer version? Yes. So that was back in what, Gen 1? Gen 2. Oh, Gen 2, okay. But still, wow, that's... A long time for Frederick. Wow. And he haven't even That's... got a resplendent alt yet. So, yeah, finally a third alt for Frederick. Well, yeah, finally another alt for Frederick. So, yeah, I hope they give this man some love because, I mean, this this man is one of the most important characters in Awakening. I mean, he stays by Krom all the time, the one of the shepherds. So, he yeah, matters. But, yeah, but also at the same time, I mean, He's also there in place of the old man aspect. I mean, once you get a few other people in there, they usually forget about him. Yep. Okay, so... so um, but... Yep, so we'll see what his axe does, and we'll see what our uh, seals, the, the TT seals, uh, by t t tonight or reset. Uh, so yeah, that's the banner. It's a pretty strong uh, uh, kid banner this time around with the awakening units. So, and Lissa's of course gonna be the four star focus. So, this is your chance to get her. Uh, and yeah, that's basically our uh, impressions. So, hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below. What do you think of all these kid units that are awakening units? Which one are you gonna get? And uh, are you excited for Frederick and throwing some pebbles now? I right, hope you like what I do, like, share, and subscribe. You want to see me do more of these videos. And with that being said, I'll see y'all next time. Thanks so much for watching. It's your boy, the G Flash, signing out. Bye. Bye.